Good morning, everyone. It's Yvonne back to do your bonus read for Monday, the 30th of September. Um, I'm going to use the Cosmic Tarot for this um, reading. I'm still sort of reeling a little bit from the four or five of wands coming in here. From the um, What's Cracking reading, sometimes the readings resonate with me too. And it's like, it's really weird when that happens. So I sort of got what they were trying to get at this morning. And I had a little bit of an epiphany moment, which was very, very nice for me. So sometimes spirit is wonderful and gifts me with a little bit of insight as well, which is amazing. So... My poor Buddha's not sitting straight there. Sorry, Buddha. Um, that's better. Sitting on an angle. Alrighty, let's have a look at the bonus read. Uh, did I say I'm using the Cosmic Tarot for this reading? And let's pull you a card from the Animal Spirit Guidebook this morning as well. Ten of Swords, closing out a cycle. So that's quite interesting. Alrighty. Okay, so we have the Four of Wands coming out. So, as a genie, those two cards both were in the What's Cracking reading this morning. So the Four of Wands is a beautiful card because it talks of marriage, stability, long-term relationships. Um, and it's a re really nice feeling. Sometimes this can be seen as twin flame stuff because it's 11-11 with the Four of Wands. But this has this very strong feeling that this is um, a very personal a very personal fifth field. Oh my goodness, we're going to get similar cards. Six of Pentacles coming out here. So we have this equal give and take in relationships. Some sort of stability here. Four of Pentacles. Now, the Four of Pentacles is about letting go. It's about hanging on to things too tightly and stopping your own growth. Um, very strong feeling here of... Um, this can be money. So it could be that you are... Uh, Unable to let, say, a job go because you're worried about your financial situation. But a lot of the time it can be hanging on to thoughts and feelings. I do have a Queen of Wands coming out here and I feel like this is your energy. I feel like you're understanding this equal give and take and finding more stability in your life by being able to let go of things that don't serve you any longer. Um, the Queen of Wands energy can represent a fire sign, so it could mean you're letting go of a person, a Leo, Sag or Aries, or someone who represents the fire sign attributes. This is particularly, though, someone who is um, very strong, is a leader, um, and is able to um, lead others, be a good role model for others, is very attractive to you. So maybe you're letting go of someone like that, but I feel like this is your energy. I feel like you're feeling really good for being able to say no to things that no longer serve your greater good. But we'll have a look at the whole story here. Okay, the Hierophant's coming up first. So again, we're seeing a lot of repeat cards here. So the energies in the universe say to me today, there's a lot of people waking up to a realization today that they don't have to wear things that don't fit them or, um, you know, be in, be in relationships that don't serve their greater good or being in jobs that don't fulfill them and make them happy. Because there seems to be a lot of stability forming here around people who are able to let go of things. Very nice. Six of Swords coming in here. So moving away, moving away with your learnings, understanding you've been on a journey and this is what you've gained from this journey so not discounting the fact that whatever you've been through has brought you lots of lessons here and lots of good ideas to move forward with okay oh very nice so we have the ace of wands coming in so we have this feeling now of stability of passion um, so sort of I feel like a lot of people finding themselves today, finding out who they are, really understanding where they're going in life. Very nice readings, a lot of energy in the universe. We do have the Hermit coming out here. So the Hermit can represent the sign of Virgo. This is the sign of Taurus. But the, the card of the Hermit talks about taking time out now to really digest what you've learned, really look inside yourself and understand what you want. 
Okay, Princess of Wands coming in. Now, the Princess of Wands is a messenger. She's bringing forward a message of passion. She's bringing forward this Ace of Wands here. Someone's about to walk into your life and make some sort of change here for you. Two of Pentacles. So we have a head over heart decision here. Oh, and the end of a cycle. Very, very nice. That card jumped out when I was doing the shuffling. So both the what's cracking in this reading, both talk about closing out cycles, being done, finding more stability, general themes here. Okay, Princess of Pentacles coming in. Somebody is making some sort of offer here of stability, which is going to bring you a lot of happiness here. So I think people are moving away from things that don't say, oh, beautiful. What a lovely thing to have at the end of the reading. Wheel of Fortune here. Okay, so what's happening here? It looks to me, although it's sort of similar to the What's Cracking reading this morning, it is slightly different. So we have people who are looking for stability and perhaps thought their stability was in a different place. Perhaps they thought it was the job they were in or the relationship they were in or the path they were on. But there's a realisation here that none of those things are bringing in, in the stability that you want. And you're now understanding how to put into situations that return or reward you in a way they should. This is really nice, though, because the Four of Pentacles says that you're letting go of things now that no longer serve you because you're taking on the energy of the Queen of Wands here and cl closing out cycles. So it's like you've had gone through a big lesson here to learn what really does you good in life and what doesn't. And I like that because now you're bringing passion and, your, and stability through this understanding of how much personal power you have that perhaps before you'd been giving to other people and other situations. So there's this strong feeling here with this Ace of Wands that you're really taking your power back. For some of you here with the Hermit, though, it will take a little bit more of reflection and going inside to have a look at how to... Um, how to approach life in a very with a very different mindset now because you're closing out a cycle. And this um, decision you've made now will bring you in a lot of happiness and a lot of offers and a lot of opportunity because you've let go of what you thought was right for you in the world. So it's like opened your eyes here, you know, to this idea that you haven't been looking at things in a way that served you well. So because you've had that realisation, you're able to close out those things in your life which haven't really brought you the happiness that you thought they would. And whether this is a job, um, it's about you here. It's not about a particular person or a particular situation. This is about you understanding that you have this power within yourself. It doesn't sit outside of you. And you're giving away things that no longer fit within your sort of sphere of reference now. You're letting go of things. And I love it because look what you have here. You have the sun and the wheel of fortune at the end, which says to me here that doing this, in this realisation, in this letting go, there's this incredible feeling now that you know what's right for you. So that's beautiful because perhaps you've been clinging on to ideas, people, situations that you thought were right for you and you realise now they're not. And that's brought in this amazing um, change to you now. And now the universe can bring in what you need here. Love, money, whatever it happens to be for you, the universe can now gift you with those things because you've closed down this idea of what you think is right for you. So it's like now the universe can bring in what is actually right for you. Okay, so I have the card of spider. And if my sister's watching this morning, she sent a video to me with lots of spiders. Um, we have a lot of orb spiders in Australia and in Queensland. Some days there can be like literally thousands of them in cobwebs above your garden. And um, yeah, for people overseas, they probably look darn creepy, but they're the most beautiful spiders, the orb spiders. Um, and they they just, they're just gentle. They just sit there doing what they need to do. Okay, that'd be good if I could find this one. I know it's in the end here. Oh no, it's a earth sign. Okay. Yay, here we are. 
Okay, creator of prosperity through life's work and dharma. Oh, how amazing is that? I've gone goosebumps. The spider is an ingenious creator. Its greatest gift is weaving the thread of dharma into a vast intricate web that supports the spider and those around it, both financially and spiritually. It is hard work, but the spider neither tires nor becomes impatient. This card reminds us creativity is everywhere. Be process oriented rather than results oriented and soon your work becomes like the weaving of a magical priceless tapestry. Abundance follows. So it talks about appreciation, enthusiasm and prosperity here. So there's this feeling here in that you're now bringing in the things that you really desire in life rather than putting up with those things you thought you wanted. What a beautiful reading. Thanks, everyone. Have a great Monday.